Today's video is going to be the final review on this wig, which is from My First Wig. Now, if you are interested in seeing how I style this wig and how I got it to look so natural, I'll have that video link below in the info bar so you guys can check it out. First off, again, this unit is from My First Wig, which is a branch out from RPG Show. Of course, everybody knows about RPG Show. No need to really go into details about that. And My First Wig is focusing in on customers who are interested in buying a wig but it's their first time so in your kit they supply a lot of different things they provide like a comb clips um, a mannequin stand to put your wig on a traveling bag to put your wig in and a couple more other things but I can't seem to remember what else came in the kit but it's a lot of good usable things that come in the kit especially for those who are beginners okay so this wig came already pre-cut. I have like a 10 inch in the back and a 12 inch in the front. And as you can see, it's cut pretty good. So I didn't have to do any type of cutting on this wig whatsoever and that is a major plus for me because I'm not really a person that's good with scissors or good with razor combs. So to get a wig that has already been pre-styled is amazing. So the real question is, is it the same quality as it would be from RPG Show? And the answer is yes. The quality of this wig is very, very nice. I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you by just feeling the hair and looking at it that it is a unit from another company. So this wig looks very nice. Um, very very soft it's very very full as well my first wig did not disappoint me at all it's very similar to the RPG show units so I have no complaints with the quality of this wig shedding is at a very very minimum which is always a plus but you should expect some type of shedding when it comes to any type of weave that you have installed. I do wish that I would have went a little shorter on the bob just like on the back here and in the front and I only say that because every once in a while I have to do this and that just brings all the hair to the front and then sometimes like when I'm moving around the hair can kind of get poked out like that and I don't really like that you know I'm just very particular when it comes to my bobs so what I have been thinking about is just putting this wig on a mannequin head and just cutting it and making it a little bit shorter in the back so I'll show you so like where you see it falls right here I was just going to actually just cut a little bit more off and then make it shorter right here so it doesn't necessarily touch my skin as much so when I'm moving around the look is still the same you still get that asymmetrical um, asymmetrical bob whichever way you turn instead of it looking like it's not asymmetrical I hope that makes sense because that was a lot at one time but that's what I really want to go for so I do think I'm going to probably end up cutting just the sides a little bit because it is a little long. It is a silky texture so the hair does feel really really silky. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like the silky texture but it feels really really soft. Extremely soft. It almost mimics like relaxed hair like freshly relaxed hair. If you decide to purchase this wig and you want a more fuller look and you want a little bit more thickness to the hair you can always add tracks to your to your units and because my first wig is a full lace wig you can add tracks anywhere part your hair anywhere and you'll still get a natural look so just in case you wanted to get a more fuller look you can do that as well yeah I'm gonna cut this wig and I'm just gonna see how I like it that way I'm hoping I don't mess it up because I really want to wear this wig Monday through Friday when it's time to promote because I really did fall in love with the brown 
blonde color wig that I recently got from RPG Show. I love that wig. I wear it like literally every day when I'm out doing business stuff. So that is a bomb wig. But I love this wig. I mean, it's very soft. It's very flowy. It looks very natural. It's very complimentary to any work setting. And one thing that I will say that I noticed about this wig, it's a little bit more precise. With some of the RPG Show units, when it comes to their bobs, I'll notice, you know, like a little bit of unevenness and that's just because I am really inspecting the hair if you're not really paying attention to the hair you won't notice it but I really paid attention to this hair especially when it came to the cut and they got the cut perfect you don't see any type of uneven sections you don't see anything that's poking out everything just really seems to flow very very nicely I'm trying to think what else do I have to say about this wig. I mean, other than it's fabulous and I love it, it's really not anything I can too much say about this wig that I don't like. But I think this is the perfect style for the winter time, especially if you are that type of girl who wear layers and you love to dress up in layers and look cute in the fall and in the winter time. This will be your perfect wig style to go to because most of the time when you have layers, you have to do this. And when I say layers, I mean like a hat, a scarf, a jacket, or a coat, something like that. And most of the time you have to bring all the hair to the front because otherwise your wig will start sliding back because you got hair inside of your jacket that's pulling on your hair every time you move. But I would recommend my first wig to really anybody because like I said, I can't really tell the difference between the RPG show units and the my first wig units besides the kits. So I would definitely recommend this company to those who are interested in wigs. I love Love RPG show wigs because they already come pre-cut some of them come pre-styled um, you can also do like special instructions if you want you know a part of the hair to be longer or shorter than the other part which I really do think is good because some people can't cut their own hair like me so to be able to purchase a wig that's already cut and only thing you have to do is really just add some heat to it make it look more natural and you're good to go that's a plus Alright guys, so that was just a quick review of my wig, which is from my first wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.